what has gotten into me. I'm playing R Factor 2 again. Um, so this is what I'm doing on my lunch break at work. Um, there is this sim racing ranked app called Sim Racing GP Net or dot .net. I forget what it's called. We have two um, online racing providers with largely the same name, so I don't know. It's it's the lesser of the two. It's the smaller of the two. Um, someone has released a beta Generation 7 stock car mod for our factor. Um, the models are really good. The setup adjustments generally do what they should. It has all the liveries. Um, and they're using this kind of hole-in-the-wall online racing app to test it. Um, in these little 30-minute sprint races every Wednesday at around 1.30 my time. Um, so again, this is what I'm doing on my lunch break. We are currently qualified first. We're running at Watkins Glen today. Um, there's ten of us here. There's three guys within a couple tenths of each other. Um, so the race is going to be between myself, Bjorn, and Oka. Last week, I jumped into it last minute, basically, and just eyeballed a setup and ended up winning Road America. Um, this week, I actually spent, like, maybe 30 minutes to an hour on the setup, um, just making small refinements for Hawkins Glen. Um, and we're going to go run the race here. This, re this league has some weird rules regarding their start procedure. Um, for whatever reason, they don't have rolling starts enabled on the server, which... Come on, guys, NASCAR, you should. So what they do is, um, in the chat box, they basically say, hey, um, when you take the green from your standing start, can you guys just roll forward at, like, 80k to, to turn one, and then the race is going to begin at the apex of turn one. It's a weird way of doing it, um, but it is what it is, and everyone just kind of goes along with it, because, like, there's ten fucking people here, and it just repeats it over and over again in the chat. Um, so at the end of the day, it's fine. It's an interesting kind of, like way to, to start a race like this. It's not something I'd do. I just have the rules package enabled by default, but whatever. Um, and then you run out the race, which is a little longer than what we used to do on Sim Racing System, if you guys watched me stream back in the day. So yeah, this got me playing R Factor 2 for the first time in like seven years. A lot of people don't realize that I played R Factor 2 quite early when it came out. I know guys label me like an R Factor 2 hater um, to some degree. Um, I was one of the early adopters of it. And I used to race a lot on Race to Play when they had um, online leagues on there, which, which was, again, another just online ranked provider app because your boy is permanently banned from partaking in iRacing competitions. Which, again, if you're, if you're new, it's, it's not over anything drastic. It's more just, like, pedantic and silly. So, like, I always make use of these alternate platforms and stuff like that. So I'll just go out for a warm-up here real quick. just to make sure everything kind of feels right and there's no drastic adjustments I have to make. Um, so yeah, I used to be a big ad adopter of R Factor 2 back in the day. This would have been around 2014, 15, 16 when Race to Play was active. And then, like, at the end of the day, like, it's hard to get excited about a game that just has a marginal improvement in graphics and physics. You know, I want some more out of my sims. I want, you know, some sort of career mode. I want I want ranking built into the game. I want a meta game. No, it doesn't have to be super in-depth like Grid. Um, I want time trial leaderboards. I want it to feel like, you know, every other game I play that seems to give a shit about, like, metagame mechanics, it just gives you something to do, and R Factor 2 was just not giving me anything to do. Um, offline races were not satisfying, and it seemed like the community did die out for a period of time. So, I just stopped playing it, and when I tried to come back, it seems like they had borked something with the AI. So offline races weren't rewarding at all, and it was very hard to get people onto R Factor 2 because people started playing um, Sim Racing System on a set of Corsa, and I Racing started getting a little bigger. So it just ended up being this weird hobbyist product that didn't do anything inherently better than any other game I already owned, so I just let it fall to the wayside. And it's remained in that state for years, really. I know there's people that swear by this stuff, but I personally, you know, would rather play other Sims. But someone offered Gen 7 stock cars that wasn't eye racing and it drove okay, I guess I'm coming back. This is what it is. So again, we're just doing our little two minute warm up here. This, I believe, is a conversion of the Little Sky track from Assetto Corsa. It's a very good version of Watkins Glen. I know people rant and rave about laser scanning and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, if you have a good team behind you or a couple of talented modders, some of the stuff that Lil Sky's built, especially like his old Bridgehampton track, 
um, and things like Fat Alfie's Feldberg Ring, like, are we really going to complain about that, you know? A couple talented people can make some pretty awesome shit, even in the absence of laser scanning. As long as you have a good QA department to go through and be like, hey, that curb's wrong or that elevation change is a little wrong and you, you know, let these guys work their magic and iron out some of the issues, it's fine. It's not like it was in 08 um, when we were playing, like, Race 07 or stuff like that, and some tracks were just, like, way off, you know, and that used to be a selling point between different sims is like, oh, you know, that version of Spawn, that game is, like, significantly better, so, like, even though I don't like how it drives, you know, I want to play that game instead doesn't happen as much nowadays. You just get less tracks being early. So anyway, I'll click through this up really quickly. If you guys have this mod, um, just go back and watch the stream. Pause the stream on these screens so you can see what values I'm running. Um, fuel you don't get a chance to set because as per NASCAR rules, you got to run a full tank of fuel. And we are gridded now. 10 car field, not a great showing, but again, it's a hole in the wall sim racing platform that is not promoted very much and it's to test a beta mod. Um, so 10 cars is fine, especially that we have three cars basically in the same, within two or three tenths. That's awesome. Nice little, nice little lunch break activity. So again, I test maybe 30 minutes built to set up. Um, today, I maybe practiced four or five laps, just getting some of the ride heights dialed in. Break by styled in, had to move it a bit back for this race. We are driving Austin Sindrick's car, because I'm a Sindrick fan. Mix of cars behind us, some guys in custom skins, you'll know when you see them. And off we go, they want us to hold 80. Let the guys catch up, check the mirrors. Each cup car um, in this mod actually has a different, slightly different cockpit view, which is kind of cool. Um, the Mustangs have the uh, mirror where Kozlowski likes it. Anyway, we're going to take the green basically right now. Tires are cold, it will not turn here. It's not like in practice in queue where you hit that bus stop and the tires are at least a little warm. Got behind me is making ground actually. I don't think my shock package is very good for taking those bumps. It's the one thing I was a bit worried about with this setup. Close, my man. completely happy with the setup on this thing yet. Plows the nose in the final corner. But it seems like under braking. It does what I want it to. Here it's a little skittish and not full throttle. Over the crest it gets a little unstable and then it compresses here and it gets unstable again.
Try to take a modest amount of curb so the car doesn't bounce off the track. Seems like that's going to be the place to gain time over this race. Guys hit the curb and the car just shakes itself because they're so stiff. And you know what, I could probably move the brake bias back a bit too. Because it's still not really doing what I want it to. Trying to keep the tires under it. The big storyline of uh, Road America is that guys burn their tires up too quick. So hope he gets by me. At least I think that's Oka. Oh, don't break there. See, look how much I gain. You just hit those rumble strips wrong and it's over. Hello. Straight away, I gotta go back on the brake bias. And I got a shitty exit there, he's gonna get me. Where you at, homie? There you are. Again, really just doing what I can to keep the tires under it, right? So that was a big storyline in Road America.
Spicy. One third of the way through the race. Looks nice. Short shift up the uh, S's. That was a great chicken.
probably the first major mistake I've made. All race. I think I'm doing a pretty good job of keeping the tires under it. He's just a little quicker. Ooh, that was a big slide. This guy's tires are shot already. Still got 10 minutes to go. Well, 
look at this. I just gotta get there now. Someone died here. Is that the same guy from earlier in the race? Maybe. You know what? I probably got could have got the pass done there, but I was distracted by the yellow, I'm trying to look for it. like crab walking into the corner. Not really sure where I'm catching him, Pro primarily in the bus stop, but he's at least holding on a little bit. really struggling to keep it under him. Wow. That curse looks spooky. Don't know who that is.
I should break it six this time. Might have fucked me. We'll see. Cars looking up pretty good, all things considered. Not if I do that. Six. Still got a lot of race left. Here we go. a great race.
My steering is definitely fucked from that. Left front took some abuse. But that got us the win. Wow. So the key to this mod seems to be safe. Um, safe tires. Wow. Type G R in the chat. I mean, it was a little dirty, but like it is stock car racing. Like, I didn't overtly wreck him. He just kind of left the door open, and I nudged him aside. And then when he did it, when he did it to me in the next corner, I basically just let him do it, just because it's like, well, I kind of owe him that. That was cool. Let's go watch that. Um, I still don't know how our factor works. Um, oh, he looped it on the final corner. Sure. Maybe this is it? Yeah. So he was just slow through the bus stop, because these cars are so stiff, if you hit the rumble strips wrong, um, the car just bounces and you lose a ton of time, so I figured I would just send it in there. Just pray it didn't really fuck up the uh, the tow link too much, and it seems like it didn't. And then here, I pretty much figured he was gonna die bomb, so I'm like, "Well, I'll give it to you." And that actually ended up being the right call. Lap car shit in his pants, looking in his mirror. And the same thing here, too. Like, if you're going to race someone, like, kind of dirty like that, like, at least give them a lane to work with, right? I didn't dorm down the straightaway or anything. And he was starting to deal with wheel hop and overheat the tires, which is probably why he spun. It looked like he spun in the S's here. Tires are hot, and tires are already much more worn than mine are. So, yeah. Guy just started overdriving, and I think he loops it here. Oh, he clipped the wall. That sucks. You got it going. Don't know if that he got passed for for a second or not, but wow, yeah. So this mod's not bad. Um, I don't think it drives super realistically. It's like 75% of the way there. It feels like the rear tires are too skinny still. You know, like these cars. Drivers are complaining, like, when they run races at short tracks and road courses that you just run qualifying laps the whole time. Because, like, you can just push and push and push in these cars, whereas, like, these things felt skittish. Oh. I love you. Oh. Didn't even get to look at my lap times. Great. Um, anyways, thanks for tuning in for that one. It was a wild race.